yeah dear learners today we are going to start introduction to theory of computation and the compiler design unit 1 course code is this the subject title it is a combination of two different subjects put together into one subject it is offered to you here at the university level theory of computation is one of the subject and its application the extension of theory of computation can be said as compiler design course compiler design then it's a four credit course it is of the nature lecture and tutorial so every week we do have tutorial then from that tutorial session we can now uh, keep discussing i may give you a problem to solve you may uh, come up come out with a problem seeking for the solution or seeking for the correctness something vice versa so it's a meant for problem solving this subject entirely consists of problem solving and theorem proving there are two theoretically very less in context but uh, theory questions we are not going to i am not especially not going to target during your examination however that is a foundation to understand every mathematical principle or abstract concept which we are discussing during the session so we if you uh, spend some time additional time in watching whatever the material i am giving either reading or watching video that would be helpful for me to spend meaningfully during the session instead of talking theoretical uh, more of lucid uh, information that all you can read these uh, days it's internet era uh, you find much better than uh, the materials what i am telling uh, across internet or you can copy from my own material so with that note i am requesting every one of you i am having the mode of teaching three method one is problem solving Uh, through tutorial another one is lecturing or problem solving during my teaching and pre reading before coming to my class i'll be posting on a small piece of information not more than half an hour so that you may need to read and watch and come to my class to accelerate the understanding level of the subject so this is what my humble request to all of you so when you look at this basic operations theorem proving i'm just skipping directly i'm going to step into this concept today onwards especially i am slightly rearranging the foundation of the subject starts with regular expression so i would be starting from regular expression and rest all i am slightly rearranging that's it so now if you consider the possible problems regular expressions itself one of the problem then regular expression to nfa regular expression to dfa dfa minimization what it is we will discuss deterministic finite automata non deterministic finite automata that is there is only two differences within nfa two different types nfa with epsilon what is this epsilon all about i will introduce shortly nfa without epsilon then these are all the possible conversion you just imagine nine different titles with necessary foundation i need to teach so these problems if i spend more time during the session it would be helpful fruitful for your learning now pre requisite so i request you to watch this video introduction to theory of computation it's a full of theory why the subject you are learning learning motivation what are the applications what is a uh, core component of the subject these all i have articulated into this video transmission process of input source file into executable file you guys my by this time you may be knowing at least three to five programming languages you all know that every program which we write to the computer is in the form of input source file it is in the form of human readable language called english although we call it as a programming language it is none other than english language human language like only we are writing but the computer is from different planet we are from one planet computer is from different planet so computer recognize can able to speak and understand only the machine language so how the process of the human like readable language to the machine readable language how it is translated what are all the different phases exist how it is converted this all about called compiler design so for the compiler design you need to Uh, watch that video that is the introduction so what is the interrelationship between theory of computation and compiler design you can see these two together into your title subject title so theory of computation is called abstract mathematics so this abstract mathematics helpful in designing compiler designing programming language even it helps for understanding better the functioning of programming language functioning of the compiler how the programming language communicates to the user 
how it considers a source language. So without theory of computation and discrete mathematics, it is very tough to design any new programming language. You guys, maybe after 20 years, after 10 years, you may tend to develop, you may tend to introduce any one of the breakthrough language in the near future. There are chances. Even if you look at the Python, Gudo wants some invented that language during his PhD time, not during the BE or MTech time. So it would have the maturity level would have gone more than 10, 15 years after his undergraduation. So after undergraduation, any moment you can invent or you can design, you can develop a new programming language for that. This subject is foundation. Then next data examination that all we discussed. Then application. Now interconnection you can able to understand. This is abstract mathematics. This abstract mathematics helps in designing a compiler or a programming language. It is interchangeable word. If you say you are using C program Go language, then that, la that language either it will be in the form of compiler or interpreter. Only two words. So what is compiler and interpreter? By this time you might be knowing, if not a quick, I will recap. C is the language working with the support of compiler. Java is the language working with the support of interpreter. These two languages would have come across by this time. So what is compiler is taking the user program. You may write a program of 10 lines or you may write a pro project of 100 lines or 1000 lines. All at a time it will consider for the translation process. Entire program which is submitted by the user it will consider and something goes wrong, then what will happen? The entire program will be stopped for the processing. Whereas interpreter, how it does is one line at a time, one line at a time, one line at a time. You would have studied Python programming as well. Python is also example for the best example for interpreter. See, you if you communicate to the Python IDE, you, uh, if you set A is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, A plus B, immediately it will give you the result. Then A minus B. One by one, one operation at a time you can do and experience the result of that compilation process. It doesn't matter that you need to sit and write the complete logic of your program when it happens to become Python. Even if it is machine learning, reading the file, you can read, then you can confirm whether really my file has been read or not. So every line by line it can uh, happen. Then what is the problem? The moment it finds any error with the in interpreter, it will not correlate with the other lines. It will stop at that point. It will start notifying, communicating to you. This is where something going wrong. Then if you fix that bug, then everything else will go smooth. Whereas compiler, what will happen? If fifth line is going wrong, then it will start connecting all the interrelationship to the rest of the program. Every line it will start throwing it is wrong. So if you write 7000 line, if you get stuck up with uh, the hundredth line, the rest of 6,500 lines going to become shown as error. So this is the difference between compiler and interpreter. Our almost interpreter is like a human. See if I, if you, if you start reading my document, you will read one line at a time. You will think, reflect, and you will move on to my second line of this document. It is like that. If something happens to become error in that line. You will either notify me or you will self-correcting. Madam would have done this grammatical mistake, spelling mistake. Okay, fine. Let me correct myself. Something you will start uh, doing the decision, then you will move further. Whereas if it is compiler, it will read the document fully, scanning that entire document. Then anything goes wrong, it will get stuck. So this is the difference. So uh, if you look at theory of computation, it is either useful for interpreter or compiler the mechanism behavior only changes but all the foundation it becomes the same in in the development point of view interpreter compiler uh, none other than the same that's it so the way of behavior internal mechanism dealing with the programmer once it is developed then that becomes different that's it now phases of compiler every phase direct interconnection between theory of computation and the phases of compiler we will be studying uh, you look at, we are talking about this subject for what? Compiler design. What is compiler design? Developing or designing a new programming language. If you design a programming language, then you must have some alphabet. You must have some grammar, right? When you start speaking in Hindi, uh, frankly speaking, I'm not versatile in Hindi. Recent days, I've started uh, learning some set of words or a necessary basis of set of sentences. I've started learning. Then every language, we have alphabet. 
the basic alphabet either phonetic if i speak that is speaking hindi if i start writing that is a uh, uh, what is a the formal hindi then whatever it has some alphabet without that i may not it is not possible to pick up then from the alphabet we need to learn grammar without grammar you cannot convey whether you are speaking past tense present tense past present tense what exactly future tense you cannot convey the meaning i am coming what is the meaning i am coming means i am taking class how can i say i am coming to someone or to you also so it is not the right i will come later i am in class so that is a context creation so grammar is essential that grammar only here we are discussing that grammar is called formal grammar any language generated from that grammar we naturally call it as formal language that is hindi grammar generates hindi language it cannot generate tamil language right it's like that so to develop a programming language we are going to discuss four formal languages one is regular language context free language context sensitive language and unrestricted or phrase structured language that's it then what is a grammar then remove the word, word language use a grammar regular grammar context free grammar context sensitive grammar phrase structured or unrestricted grammar so this is what computer science people will call that is mathematicians how they will call no they will call regular grammar as a type 3 grammar down then context free grammar as a type 2 grammar type 1 grammar type 0 grammar that's it then what is alphabet let us see that postpone a little bit later then language is what now any language when we want to speak the respective language we need to study the respective grammar we need to study the respective alphabet we need to study right similarly here alphabet only i am postponing rest all the formal grammar and formal languages going to help to develop a programming language that is why it is called uh what to say automata theory and formal language that is another uh, title of this subject most of the university offers in that word flat formal languages and automata theory they used to offer this course here we are offering with theory of computation this is the background so this video also will be helpful for you to understand how each and every grammar is connected with phase you know what is phase phase 1 your first semester is phase 1 you are getting a degree phase manner slow and steady manner uh, for semester 1 semester 2 semester 3 and so on similarly here what is compiler at a time the high level language cannot be translated into a uh, machine level language it will have sequence of transitions slowly the transmission will happen so when that transition is happening they are slicing in terms of phases first component second component what will happen what will happen something like that so regular grammar is highly connected to the lexical analyzer phase that is the first phase what is lexical analyzer for example when you read or when you listen to my sentences every word you will capture whether i am speaking rightly or wrongly whether i am committing a pronunciation mistake or i am committing grammatical mistake something you will be notifying so every word you will start analyzing phrasing parsing you will be analyzing through your brain similarly computer also machine also starts analyzing your program every word keyword we used to call keyword or token so every token when when it is human language it is called a word when it is a programming language every component is called as a token for example look at here faces of compiler we call this as a word this is a word this is a word it consists of three words then imagine the same you are feeding to your computer as a syntax or statement what will happen this is treated as a token the new word i am introducing today it is called token uh, how you will be writing token for c language oh my god one minute token if you start writing a c language hash include um open bracket std io.h so now look at here token this will become one token this will become include will become one token this will become one token std io will become another token dot another token h another token close bracket another token it consists of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 tokens that's all this is what lexical analysis phase so for that regular grammar and finite automata these two are useful what is then automata you may ask first thing the moment you start discussing four types of grammar there is a machine 
that machine is not physical machine abstract machine mathematical model it will start simulating working recognizing operating on the language regular finite automata context free push down automata context sensitive linear bounded automata this is only your syllabus nothing more to worry then unstructured or phrase structured grammar that is called unrestricted and the phrase structured grammar it is called recursive language or recursively enumerable language so the are uh, that language or grammar you can say turing machine can work on phrase structured or unrestricted grammar so for grammar i said so these four only going to become your syllabus that's it so every grammar and its corresponding machine automata that is automating that language automating that grammar that class so that is why it is called automata automation is happening every automata or the language or the grammar all are interchangeable now grammar language automata all are interchangeable words so any word any time which i use all three relates to the same context so every language or every automata is used in different different phases of compiler design that's it so that is a direct application but the way in which the functioning will be different here mathematically we will look at their functionality aspects they will look at compiler design that's it now that fundamental has been discussed on to this video then this is what your core subject this i will be teaching as a first topic or if not you can walk through the video and i can quickly recap that's it so with that now what is mathematical proof we know already what is mathematical proof it can be useful for uh, proving something validating something formulating something so we will have entry condition or starting condition then we will have set of logical sequences there are several ways to prove the statement what we are uh, considering and we need to arrive to the conclusion or we sometimes the proof may be proving it lhs equal to rhs then inductive reasoning deductive reasoning logical reasoning syllogism logical syllogism these are all several methods available in proving it's a ocean again so not uh, required to enter that much you should know something related to theorem proving or mathematical uh, uh, proving methodologies then picking up the subject will become much more easier no need to be too strong enough to some extent if you are good enough then i have prepared material i will not touch upon you just read through if possible i'll create a video shortly then that video you can watch wait for some time give me a week then i will create so next what is hypothesis entire world we are trying to prove hypothesis only what is hypothesis my student will cooperate with me to deliver this course i am thinking the hypothesis i need to prove how you will be proving how good you are solving the assignment how good you are engaging during the class how good you are attending the class and how good you are performing the in examination all put together only i can prove this statement otherwise this statement will become failed but however i need to prove no the moment i start having the claim one is positive yes you all will cooperate another one is negative never you will cooperate or something you deviation will happen two things only will happen so i need to prove how can i prove i need to conduct a test i need to conduct learning activities i need to conduct tutorial i need to keep engaging you uh, i need to initiate the conversation how everything i need to conduct some class test everything how it is going then i can take decision with these all then i can conclude yes these students are well cooperating with me this is called hypothesis this is informally i am telling formally let us consider all smokers will get affected by lung cancer this is a research investigation i wanted to do then what i supposed to do i need to collect data set i need to approach all the smokers across india or across the globe how many years you are smoking are you a chain smoker how many times you frequency of smoking when uh, what are all the previous uh, other ailments you have do you have really till date lung related problem or not i need to record everything then i need to statistically prove and our machine learning machine learning is the best statistics only 
or probabilistically i need to prove yes this statement is true or this statement may not be true not necessarily to be true that is what similarly alcohol consumptions will lead to uh, damage in liver i need to prove this claim this is called hypothesis anything which i'm trying to prove i need to formulate the statement problem statement that statement will be considered in two different set acceptance hypothesis null hypothesis what is that one of the statement it is favored for my investigation that is that one statement all other statement it doesn't favor to my investigation that is other statement so finally my conclusion is going to uh, direct it towards either one of the statement smoking will lead to can uh, lung cancer smoking doesn't lead to lung cancer that's all so those those two statements i need to put it in the formal representation in null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis that is called hypothesis this is a technical terminology but if we are trying to prove anything so the moment you say madam is good you will be collecting lot of facts to tell the moment you say madam is not good she is not good good enough you will be collecting lot of facts to validate that statement so it's it's a kind of climbing and validating with a lot of proofs and evidences or logical connections finally reaching the conclusion that's it then iteration you know what is iteration if you are good in for loop while loop then no need to speak in mathematics also it is called iteration repetition of set set of operations or set of concepts n number of time until specify number of times that is called iteration nothing more is of uh, great in nature set theory you know i am assuming that you know all set what is set collection of elements collection of set of elements this class your class is set of students set of students constitute a class now you form a class 68 students registered to my course so it is it is in set of all possible students from ai and different branches mim so there are different branches people register for this course so set of all students put together i am handling this course so that's it then set of operations union intersection disjoint complement these all your childhood days you would have studied school days so that uh, knowledge is sufficient more than enough complement these all set theory you would have studied venn diagram also that is all that is what i am telling these all essential that's it about the prerequisite entry ticket these all videos you should watch for better understanding because a lot of terminologies involved so i no need to invest time into that then you can study this video covers these all these all already articulated in video that video shared yesterday exactly by noon i asked you to watch and read the material this material is also posted already into the whatsapp group now this one picture i have corrected that was not uh, clear so that i have corrected that's it now we are these all i have covered already assuming that i have covered so i request even if you have not watched please watch today at least take it as a homework today evening you can do relaxed then tomorrow while coming to my class you be thorough enough and uh, good enough in understanding if not you put forth the question i am here to help you out i will articulate once again i will support you once again that's it now we are stepping into the subject this is a real subject what is this all about it's called basic definitions you should know each and every terminology which i'm going to articulate this moment and what's please pay your attention because this all terminologies throw this subject going to revolve around unless otherwise you are thorough enough with that it is a little bit uh, struggling to pick up the higher end concepts so that's it's a kind of glossary of terms i can say i'm going to do glossary of terms for this subject now symbol see if you look at alphabet english small a to small z capital a to capital z that is a symbol the way you write a is different the way you write a in hindi is different the way you write a in tamil is different ultimately it is a symbol similarly computer programming language if you look at what are all the symbols extensively you are using all the operators arithmetic operators special operators bitwise operators small a to z capital a to z and 0 to 9 digits alpha beta gamma sometime sometime at symbol sometime dollar symbol sometime exclamation symbol sometime cap symbol depending upon that program language designer 
what way you are going to design why you are keeping that symbol is up to the designer perspective so we the end user we will sit and learn and buy out those symbols and we will be doing program or exams that's it so every language fundamentally it has set of symbols initially we need to call it as a symbol individual is called symbol then put together it is called alphabet english alphabet to how many so a to z that is called alphabet when you talk about a alone it is not alphabet it is called symbol same way we are going to interpret here as well symbol this symbol it can be a character or a mark it can be alpha beta gamma anything now mathematically please pay your attention first symbol mathematically i am introducing symbol collection of symbol these two i am considering it is called alphabet alphabet is represented further we are going to discuss alphabet is represented by sigma now in i am taking one of the language that language comprises of only two alphabet zero and one because theoretically when we discuss we can't have larger set of alphabet uh, if you look at the tamil language it is a bulky i even forgot and 180 108 letters something is there that many alphabet you cannot discuss theoretically you need to take small size of alphabet zero one a b only having two three symbols we are not a computing machine to have larger alphabet so here we are taking one of the alphabet set it is a set it is comprises of the flower bracket 0 1 so it consists of two symbols that's it formed from the alphabet is this all this is little bit advanced slightly i will postpone the same it will repeat next first terminology is a symbol alphabet alphabet is a collection of symbols or set of symbols now you can see finite set of symbols finite never we can talk about infinite human understanding also machine understanding also defined as a finite set of symbols or in simple terms you can even write collection of symbols that's it see now here i am writing alphabet consisting of only these two it's a binary digits now i am kind of designing one more alphabet consisting of these all a to z all i can have small ab also that's it mathematically alphabet is represented by alpha sorry sigma that's it sigma next is strings string is a finite sequence you please understand it is a finite set finite set is different finite sequence is different sequence is what see sequence of alphabet defined number is called what lakshmi it is called sequence of alphabet it is called sequence we can't tell lakshmi is collection of english alphabet sequence of english alphabet it is arranged in such a way now finite sequence symbol generally denoted as w or s i forgot to mention that i will mention again uh, soon after the class string can be represented as w either or uh, with s for example alphabet consist of these all then the word or a string constituted from this alphabet definitely must be like this no right because this is your alphabet the word or string which is constituted from this alphabet definitely should have zeros and one only nothing else can have that's it length of a string is denoted this is modulus operator length lakshmi what is l a k s h m i so six letters word so that is the length of the word that's it so for this word what is the size six see 10 10 101 10, so this all together it consists of length six that's all this is one of the other operation i am introducing then other symbol i am introducing w otherwise z sorry otherwise s and sigma now we are going to look at something new let me change you will get confused now i will use empty string empty string eps yeah it is there uh, epsilon or lambda is available i will use either as w or s that's it no here it is available epsilon or lambda two different way we can use so no worry so it is available right the empty string is a string with zero occurrence what is zero empty means what nothing how many chocolates i have in my hand empty epsilon nothing i have chocolates i am talking about chocolates i am asking you how many chocolates are in my on my palm nothing is there this is represented mathematically epsilon some of the textbook will represent lambda that i am not sure so epsilon got my point empty now rather see how many pens i am having on my palm zero how many pens i am having on my palm one 
Now either this case is represented by epsilon. This case is represented by one. That's it. Mathematically, it is one. That's all. It is empty or null. Set of strings over the alphabet. See, this is the alphabet symbols or alphabet together. Set of string. What are all the possible strings you can uh, formulate using these two single alphabet? It's again what a combination, permutation, combination. See, if I give you two alphabet, how many combinations you can generate? See, epsilon, not necessarily to consider. This is represented by sigma star. What is star is clean star. It is a, technically here it is called clean star. Once again, we will look at nothing to worry. So if I substitute zero, I will get this. If I substitute one, there is a chance of getting either zero or one. If I substitute two here, there is a chance of getting, there are chance. There are chances of getting 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. If I substitute 3, there are chances of getting 3, 3 symbol and so on. Look at, after all two symbols can generate infinite set of words, infinite set of words, any combination. 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 are within that 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, different, different words different different combination so that, that's all see alpha uh, sigma zero is represented as empty <laughs> sigma one is represented as zero one yeah do you have anything to question me someone unmuted that's fine i will mute again yeah sigma uh, uh, what to say sigma two so it is it strictly should generate only the words comprises of two size. One means what? Strictly it should generate the words or strings comprises of only single alphabet, single symbol. Then here two alphabet or two symbol. Then it should star means what? Infinite. Now we are introducing star. First time I'm introducing. The star value starts from 0 to infinite. Now I'm going to introduce one more symbol, sigma plus. What is the sigma plus is? See, sigma star equal to uh, sigma plus union epsilon. What is the meaning? Other way around, sigma plus equal to minus welcome. That's it. It will not have this component. That's all. So I'm going to rewrite this sigma plus. Actually, this plus supposed to be superscript sigma plus is going to become constituted by sigma star minus epsilon right because it doesn't possess the empty representation that's all this is the interrelationship between sigma plus and sigma star this is important if you wish um, to question related to this you can ask me See, for example, I said sigma. Sigma is alphabet. What is sigma star? The size varies. You can iterate. These many set of combinations you can generate. That is the indication I'm giving. Then interval, what is, I'm, I'm introducing one more uh, set. That is sigma plus. What is the sigma plus? It doesn't allow you to have zero. That is the only thing. Zero, epsilon, sigma to the power of zero, it will not allow. That's all, nothing more. Sigma star is sigma plus union epsilon. Whereas sigma plus is sigma star minus epsilon. That's all. Nothing more to confuse. Now length of the string already we understood. Modulus W, empty string. Empty string is represented by epsilon. Modulus epsilon equal to zero. Substring. Substring is consecutive characters from a string. It can be taken from W or S. It's a consecutive character from the given string. That's all. Next, reverse of a string. What is the reverse of a string? If you try to write W equal to A1, A2, A3, etc., what would be your uh, W reverse? A n, A n minus 1, and etc. up to A1. That's all. It is simple reverse of sin. See, pop. Pop is one of the word uh, um, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, read either way it will become still pop. So that is a kind of reverse. Whereas Lakshmi, if you read, put it in reverse, you can't even pronounce. 
what word it will become even i don't know got the point so that reversal order that's it any string we can read in reversal or trans uh, trans traversal or transpose next is concatenation of string so two strings together w1 xyz w1 uvw you can concatenate what is the concatenate uh, now if i write um, good morning i can concatenate good and morning good morning that is concatenation of two different strings together without space if i write then it is concatenation that's it now prefix suffix is all you know your childhood what is prefix what is suffix that's it within this this is a prefix this is a suffix substring either it can be a prefix or it can be a uh, suffix or it can be somewhere middle substring that's it now let us see there is a word given here a b b a b what are all the possible combination to have in prefix yes i don't want to consider anything it is my choice so i can have epsilon i want to consider only a a i can consider a b a b that's all etc you can understand now now suffix is what going from the last end i don't want to consider any symbol so that i am giving empty that's it now what is language slowly we are moving to next definition language already we visited language sigma star and sigma plus both are example for language see so look at here it started generating collection sigma star started collect, uh, generating collection then what would be sigma plus let us try writing here what would be sigma plus just for your understanding i am writing here sigma plus would become yeah i'll put copy paste here no waste time waste sigma plus there is no epsilon that's all no empty it won't encourage that emptiness mandatorily i'm asking you questions no option every one of you need to answer i'm telling that is sigma plus that's all sigma star is what none of you also uh, may skip not to answer to my question so that is sigma star not even a single student may be communicating to me for the question which i am posing that is sigma star there are chances then maybe one or two students may answer what is sigma plus no excuse at least one student must answer to this question that is sigma plus that's it now let us look at other language either it can be sigma star or sigma plus it's a collection of uh, strings or words concatenation we have discussed language otherwise you will be represented with l one more symbol i am introducing uh, sigma star sigma plus l w s these are all the possible components we discussed word is a w is a word l1 l2 or two languages let it be then how can you do write, uh, concatenation with mathematics with a dot then w you are concatenating x and y together where l1 is x l2 is y that's it now clean star now only we are coming to wherever you are looking at star in theory of computation that is called clean closure clean star if it is plus that is called clean positive closure that's it so this is exactly called clean closure this is what clean clean closure this is string string is formed that is called we are discussing clean closure then star close star r not start is uh, start star r positive positive clean closure sigma plus already you, you became familiar i'm introducing the terminology see positive closure that's all clean ha clean has introduced two different closure one is star another one is positive first we are discussing positive closure let us start with alphabet this then it can have empty what is empty sigma to the power of 0 is a set of words of length 0 there is a, no length at all then set of words of length 1 0 1 set of words of length 2 then you need to concatenate means union union sorry not the concatenate union you need to do union on these all then you will get the final set alphabet set or a language it's, it can be said as language or clean star now the word which i am going to look at is clean star that's it now here this union there are three methods in uh, theory of computation is represented now itself i will 
uh, inform you union can be represented with u r plus r comma all are same interchangeable same meaning in with respect to theory of computation union u r plus r i will write in english r plus r comma please sir uh, pay your attention comma uh, the same sentence i can use instead of union i can use plus as well or i can use comma as well that's all see finally here represented union is represented with comma whereas here it is represented with u that one more is what this that's it positive closure of strings sigma star minus epsilon so that you need to exclude epsilon that's it so far now i made you to become familiar with only 0 1 alphabet now i am giving you ab alphabet i changed it how can you write sigma star epsilon ab abb now you need to tell me how can i write sigma plus please tell me any one of you please help me yaar any one of you how should i write how should i write is it right i mean audible guys how should i write sigma plus come on i'm removing the epsilon fantastic because it doesn't encourage emptiness removing the epsilon that's all nothing more you need to remember now you can understand the difference between sigma star and sigma plus got the point see minus epsilon clue is given right in front of you you need to remove the epsilon that's it any language will become subset of the language star that's all this is all interrelationship now let us look at let us consider l1 as this language l2 as this language language is what a collection of words so it it consists of these are all the words or strings it consists of these are all the words or strings then what is this is the way you can write l1 l l2 whatever the next is complement of a language is represented by l complement what is l complement l complement equal to sigma star minus l other than the specified language all other alphabet we need to consider that's it this all mathematical notation then reverse of a language reverse of a language is what every word must be reversed reversed that word must belong to the given alphabet or given language without that we should not mix and match concatenation of two language already we have seen let us example let us consider l1 equal to x x belongs to sigma 1 let us consider l2 is equal to y y belongs to sigma square, sigma 2 uh, not square sigma 2 uh, one minute i suppose to write uh, yeah either way that's it uh, this is a better way one minute subscript i suppose to write power means then it will be computing subscript means representing just now we have seen computing and representing now let us move on concatenation we have seen through example now mathematical notation we are looking at now what is closure star closure language of 0 1 2 3 what is language set of alphabet that's all positive closure is what other than this that's all now slowly we are stepping into the first topic these all foundation no way this is connected for your examination guys this is all foundation now the first concept we are going to discuss with respect to problem solving approach this is all fundamental now i'll spend some time with you if you have any questions you can come forward even i can pass the video and doesn't matter you can come forward either in the chat window or audio so for now we discussed foundation or basics terminology is glossary of terms this all we discussed to pick up the subject now the very first concept i'm going to discuss with you regular grammar regular expression these two concept any questions okay all right now 
regular grammar and regular expression on this also i have created video exclusively for regular grammar alone now look at regular grammar is of these three form the moment you start telling grammar it will have set of productions uh, these are all uh, one minute something happened yeah it's arrow mark producers this is called for pro production t produces that's all so now difference between regular grammar and regular expression we are going to look at regular grammar first you should understand grammar consists of set of productions these are all called productions what is production then anything left hand side produces something on the right hand side that is called as production now capital a produces small a capital a produces small a b capital a produces epsilon by this time you might be knowing what is epsilon because it is a null empty representation now left hand side it should become non terminal see always it should become non terminal a belongs to b this small a belongs to t what is terminal and non terminal non terminal will derive something terminal will end up it cannot derive it doesn't possess the capability to derive further that is called terminal now i will explain you what is terminal non terminal in short there is exclusive video i have made on this one slide alone the non terminal with respect to theory of computation and the compiler design it will start with a capitalized word statement a statement can produce collection of words in c language if you write a statement what will happen or sentence let, let us consider english sentence will consist of set of words sentence is a non terminal write and said what you are writing words still words is a non terminal words can derive what set of symbols then symbol cannot derive something a cannot give something whereas sentence can derive can, sentence is derived from set of symbol that is represented through production that's it if you understand that's fine if not just hold for some time with a lot of example you can able to understand this better now when you can say regular grammar is it should be of either one of these three forms strictly these three form what is the thing left hand side it should have only one non terminal that's it please understand left hand side for all the three production look at the pattern that non terminal it will start with capital letter upper case letter that capital only available no capital a is only one it is not a, a word i am representing simple a symbol a it is a non terminal then right hand side what and all the possible combination single terminal or combination of terminals and non terminals a b you look at there or b a any any order you can write and it can be epsilon epsilon doesn't belong to alphabet it is a disjoint from the alphabet it is a special exclusive symbol to represent emptiness null that's it so it can have either one of these three form got the point now i will write one example see then formal representation grammar is represented with g it has four component or four tuple vtps v set of non terminal t set of terminal p set of production s is set of s is a starting symbol only one starting symbol a is a non terminal whereas small a is a terminal now i will write in front of you one grammar for example a produces a capital b i am writing e produces small b i am writing then further what i am going to write is wait a minute a produces capital b and small b i am writing then capital b produces epsilon i am writing like this epsilon this right in front of you randomly my brain is forming a regular grammar regular grammar g is equal to open bracket these all set of productions that's all now i formed now let us start discussing what is what are all the possible combination of the non terminal just give me a second i'll come back yeah 
Now, for ease of understanding, I will put it in single line. Normally, this is the way textbooks also in exam also represented the grammar. This is what my given grammar. What I am emphasizing grammar. Now the second question, I need to harvest. What I need to harvest? Set of non-terminal C. What is this grammar? Grammar is represented by four components or four tuple, VTPS. Now I need to harvest non-terminal. I introduced only two. So look at left hand side. I am having capital A, either capital A or capital B or capital B. Now I need to harvest terminals. Now set of terminals of small a comma b. I should not write what? Epsilon. I am not in the position to write epsilon. I should not write also. Now. Yeah. Now let us discuss. What is start symbol? Now start symbol. Look at the order of all the four productions which I gave. Sometimes I can write a production number also. It doesn't matter. I can write one production number one, two, three, four. Right now, for the time consumption, I'm not writing. Now, what is the production given in the first attempt? First attempt, it is given that capital A produces small a capital B. So what should be my starting symbol? Then A is my starting symbol. Then what is production? Set of all productions I have given for you guys for productions. These are productions. Now we have represented the given problem called regular grammar using the component, formal component VTPS. We understood. Now, what is the purpose? What I, I can do with this grammar? I need to find out the language, generate the language. I should generate the gra purpose of grammar is to generate the language. I need to generate. Now, how I am generating, you just watch me. Then still, if you have doubt, I will repeat once again. Please pay your attention. Always I should start with the start symbol only. I cannot jump here directly. I need to start with A. What are all the language? L is equal to. Now I am going to write down the language within two curly bracket. How I am writing the language? Please pay your attention. Capital A produces small a capital B. A is a terminal. I cannot do anything further. That's it. Whereas B is a non-terminal. I can do something. I need to terminate. In order to do that, what I can do? Instead of this A, one minute, I can write uh, instead of this. Okay, let it be. Uh, instead of this B, there are two options available. Capital B, B, capital B, Epsilon. Now let me substitute small b. I can generate one of the language A, B. If I substitute Epsilon, what would be my language? Small a. Now I need to consider this program. A within A, I didn't give you option. I will form, change this problem statement quickly in next problem. See, look at here. Next, this production. This capital B, how can I do? B. I can substitute by B. Then the language would become BB. If I substitute epsilon, it will become small b. That's all. Now, when I consider this small b already available, you no need to write, but you must write epsilon because it is given in the grammar. That's all. This is these are all the possible language I can generate. No recursion is happening. Recursion is what? LHS, RHS, it should have same symbol, only then recursion. This is the ultimate language I can generate from this grammar. Nothing more I can do. There is no other possibility to happen with this given example. This is the ultimate language I can generate from the given grammar. This is a problem. This is called regular grammar. I can say problem one. I am introducing the first problem. First, I introduced this is the problem. Nothing more I will uh, uh, speak even for examination. Let us consider the grammar G. I should write regular, the regular grammar G and generate the regular language of a given grammar. This is what question paper also will set slightly 
paraphrasing or the way of writing english may vary that's it this problem is over here we are trying to solve the problem initially you need to write the solve only then you can understand once if you become matured enough finally you need to give only this answer nothing more is required why we should learn grammar to generate the language and this is the result of this grammar hope so you would be understanding still if you possess any doubt you can uh, come forward to question is there any question uh, mm -hmm. uh, can you explain the last part the purpose uh, the generation of the language fine fantastic now see until this you understood right v t s p how i am writing set of non terminal non terminal always in the production this combination is called production with arrow mark lhs whatever you have that only going to become your non terminal right then terminal whatever you are writing on the rhs you should look at that the rhs it should be terminal symbols or lower case letters or special symbols or digits i have written small b and small a only as terminals here so you need to identify this then starting symbol starting symbol is it must be a non terminal see start symbol s is a starting symbol it must be a non terminal there are four productions i have arranged in the given grammar or problem statement which is the first production dominates here this one so that what is my start symbol this i have identified then next production there are four pro different productions are given in this problem statement you are writing all the four productions then next how i am generating this language let us pay attention i need to start from this to generate a language what it produces small a capital b it produces so small a capital b i cannot write it should become terminal terminal means what it should be terminate no more uh, derivation substitution should happen so there is two symbol here there are two symbol one is small a that is terminal already i mentioned all the lower case letters are terminal then there is capital b it is non terminal since it is non terminal i need to terminate how can i terminate i need to look at all the productions of b form capital b form there are two productions available with the capital b form one capital b is producing small b another one capital b is producing epsilon now i can replace this capital b by either this or this first i go by the order if i replace this capital b by this small b i would be ending with ab next if i replace this capital b by this epsilon it's empty nullified so that i would be ending with small a now this production is completely analyzed to generate the language now we need to go to the next production with the next production small b is a terminal whereas capital b is not a terminal it is a non terminal in this order also i can write the moment i change the order the grammar will become different so now this is non terminal now again it is capital b i have two choice either i can terminate this b by small b or i can terminate this b by epsilon so if i replace this by small b my word would become bb if i replace this b by epsilon my word will become small b that's all now i need to consider this production already one non terminal producing one terminal that kind of terminal repeated no need to rewrite once again then capital b produces epsilon then with that one non terminal produces epsilon i need to write down this i will solve one more problem for your better understanding right in front of you i will formulate it's a game a pakka game i can it's a brain game that's all say i will slightly twist small b to capital b i'm twisting then small capital b to small x i'll put x you don't ask why x because the language which i am designing i want to have these all symbols that's all it's a mathematical problem now i need to harvest all see here there is no change a b l h s no change capital t there is a change what i need to include 
may I hear from anyone non terminal there is no change there is a change in terminal what is the terminal change x x fantastic x now what is my starting symbol still it is a am i right still it is a because a is the first production so that a now what are all my production i need to replace by this existing now order everything changed now let us generate the language i must start from the first production a is terminal i no need to do anything with a it is favor of me but if b is non terminal it is not favor of me to generate the language then i need to look at all the b productions b productions are of the form there are two either i can approach replacing this capital b by this production or i can approach replacing that capital b by this production let me start with this if i replace this capital b let me delete this if i replace this capital b by b what would be my first word of the language a b next if i replace this capital b by x my next word of the language would become a x next if i replace here b b the order is changed b b then i can replace by b b then i can replace by b x then b and x these are all my language slightly if i alter also it will become a new problem i can even further replace here by a another a recursion left hand side is placed right hand side then it become recursion that that generates infinite number of language the moment recursion exists infinite number of language it is too early to introduce that kind of problem i don't want now just repetitive substitution it's a game don't think that it's a subject repetitive substitution all the possible substitutions you try substituting then term it should become terminal combination sequence of terminals or combination of terminals that is called word or string you need to put it in the set all the collection of words or strings then it becomes a language that's it now we are going to look at few more Uh, just for introduction i am giving two problems there are several problems we are going to look at within this 15 minutes itself i can discuss n number of problem don't worry what is alphabet uh, sorry what is sigma info input alphabet it must be finite several time we discussed noam chomsky this is one of the uh, great scientist introduced this all the grammars and languages he only introduced regular grammar we discussed regular grammar now we are going to look at regular expression i am testing i am changing what is regular expression it has set of rules that rules if it follows it become a regular expression regular grammar and regular expression interchangeably the same interchangeably it will become same once if you understand deeper then you will have more clarity now regular grammar hope so you would be good enough there are two problems i solved and uh theory i have explained still there is one video available on to my youtube channel that has perfect articulation about uh, regular grammar with a slow and steady manner now first symbol we are going to introduce phi this phi is called null this can become a regular expression see how we said epsilon alone can form a symbol can form a production epsilon alone we can form a production similarly phi alone we can form a production with epsilon alone we can form a expression with phi alone we can form regular expression epsilon alone we can form regular expression it is called null it is called empty there is a deeper difference between these two i'll make you to understand this with this uh, i'll try giving this analogy i don't know how far it is uh, suitable in this class any one of you becoming terrorist after 20 years it should become null not to happen i wish not to happen in this class after 10 years want to become cine star yes nothing wrong in it there is a chance of any one of you becoming actor or actress or many of you happen to become actor or actress right now it is null none of you are actor or actress right so that is empty epsilon epsilon is today it is null but in future may happen may not happen whereas null 
today is also null forever it should be null there is no other change hope so i make you to understand these two symbol what is that null is what forever it is going to become null not that they whenever the, uh, otherwise technically i speak you that a phi wherever it is included concatenated it will make that symbol to become null it is equivalent to zero logical zero we can say see with zero anything you multiply what will happen zero whereas if you multiply one with any number it will not get affected you will get back the original value that is called epsilon here now with the mathematical i will make you to understand see now i am writing um l is equal to a my language has only one symbol a don't question me why it has only one symbol now i want to do operation logical operation what is the operation is a dot this side concatenation i'm trying to do a dot side what would be my result is this next this is sufficient similarly here i am doing the same here my language is this but here i am going to use epsilon what would be my result a hope so now you can understand the difference between phi and a phi is equivalent to null a is equivalent to empty it will not affect it is empty since it is empty anything is operated with that it will result will become the same got my point is it clear guys i am introducing two different symbols into regular expression first one is phi another one is epsilon is it clear now yes ma'am fine fantastic now next one we are moving into little bit little bit higher level union operation union operation already i mentioned that plus is also form see one more symbol i forgot and there sorry comma union plus one more is slash i already i introduced it. so now i am introducing it can be represented see our regular expression a plus b is also a regular and a regular expression with the language a comma b it can be represented with so and so this operation is called union union operation that's all now one more operation we are going to see four different combinations guys please pay your attention these are all the four different operations this one more is plus so comma all together it will constitute union union can be represented by slash plus union or comma next is a and b are regular languages then concatenation you can write with dot or without dot what is concatenation you know a is one of the um what is a good morning i said now good and morning how if you concatenate you need to remove the space or mathematically uh, you want to very formal way of writing you need to place dot between good and morning you need to place dot this is this process called uh, concatenation nothing more see a is one of the word or string b is another string after concatenation the result is going to become a b that's it nothing more the next is clean star already we have discussed it plenty enough so now instead of alphabet i'm giving you the language there itself then a star a plus now let us try what it would become the language l will become epsilon comma a comma a a comma triple a y the star value on minute star value okay substituted by 0 to infinite that's all star value is substituted by 0 to infinite please remember so if i put 0 what would be my result a star a star would result with epsilon if i put 1 it would result with a if i put 2 it would result with double a if i put 3 it would result with triple a and so on it will become infinite in nature for that representation theory of computation you should put 
triple dot always that denotes infinite representation now next clean positive closure this is clean positive closure oh, sorry as this clean positive closure how you need to write someone can can help me how should i write a plus this is for what a star this is a star this is a language i have generated from the expression language is generated from the regular expression a star how what i can generate repetition question only a star minus epsilon yes i need to copy paste remove epsilon exclude epsilon see now here i need to write plus right now what i should write english value is substituted from for this english how should i write plus value is substituted by what not by substituted from zero to infinite here substituted from what to do is it right english what i should do see star value substituted from zero to infinite what should i write here 1 to 1 infinite yeah perfect 1 to infinite that's it now you understood very well now slowly we will look at small small problem set of vowels this is the problem see problem itself i am giving it is not explanation it is a problem the best word is problem how you can write a regular expression you can write a or e or e. i or union o u a u i o u vowel no that is what i am representing this is called regular expression see now i will write like this otherwise you will be confused now let it be this union i want i am preserving either you can write this way or how you can write you can substitute everywhere this union this is the answer for this problem every plus you can write with this right i said all are same interchangeable what else you can do a r e r i o u this is another method what is another method to represent a comma e comma i comma o comma u that's all now first problem we could able to solve but there are three operate three different operators are involved so that four times i am writing but all are interchangeably same this is called regular expression now maturity level from the macro level phi we started then epsilon we started then we started union then concatenation then cleans star then cleans positive star six symbols we have seen out of that six symbol two symbols already we know how to write a regular expression and the language a star a plus now i am introducing the problem with union what is a union write a regular expression to represent set of all vowels set of vowels set of all vowels only five vowels you need to put r r r connection then what is a regular language this is a regular language this representation if we use regular expression and regular language will become same whereas this representation if we use it will be different that's all now let us write another this is problem number 2 a followed by zero or more occurrences of b please don't look at this please think for a while a followed by this is a problem zero or more occurrences of b mandatory every string of the language should start with a small a and followed by any number of b's 1b 2b any number of b's that is a problem statement how should i write a regular expression 
start thinking no need to give answer just start thinking look at a dot b star otherwise i can write a b star that's all both are same a b star a followed by b star any number of times not star it should come see zero or more it is written that what zero or more occurrence now it should become star then a here zero occurrence then a b a b b a b b now i will formulate the next problem in front of you you should give me the answer what is the answer ma a b plus fantastic a b plus what is the language here a b a excluding this rest all i need to produce here right now is it clear that's all now let us look into next uh, regular expression slowly i am making uh, towards advanced level any number of vowels followed by any number of consonants you know what is consonant other than vowel rest all consonant b is a consonant c is a consonant d is a consonant other x y z they are these all consonants so now we need to write a regular expression look at how i am writing b star c star that's all any number of vowels any number of consonant there is no conditions given any number of vowel any number of consonants but b is vowel c is a consonant d consists of these all set c consists of what this is a ranged set representation anything range it has a pattern you no need to write a b c d like a lkg kid you can put that hyphen that hyphen is the representation it is not minus the hyphen is the representation of ranged data 0 hyphen 9 ranged data 0 to 9 numbers 1 by 1 1 by 1 i am fetching that is called ranged data now a to z minus v consonant means what other than the vowel whatever represented that is this is minus this is range now or else i can write if you confuse a to z then the two is also english no it will be a problem for you so here ranged data i am not fail to represent it as both or some minus minus only it is not minus it is a range i will write like this english int that's all now how can you represent a epsilon because both are star i am not mandating any number only i have written i am not mandating any number so epsilon a a o u any combination it's a infinite any way you can think not necessary to start a you can start with o also it is a vast set if you are mesh if you write a program to generate for this regular expression the set of language it will keep on going the lifetime is not sufficient to generate the language that many it has do you understand guys is it clear yeah with that table let us stop we will uh, look at different set of problems there are many more problems we are going to solve using this uh, regular expre regular expressions regular grammar together both are interchangeably same the pattern if you look at closely you will feel that same with that i am concluding today and uh, one minute